In this how to we are going to learn how to do pagination in the list view using data pager control. Data pager control is, is a control that enables the, the developer to paginate the list view records. <coughs> so let us see this with example. So first list, let me copy paste the code for the list view control here. So this is my list view control. Let me copy paste the entire code of the list view as well as data pager. Now let me format the selections and now here you can see that I have a list view control and uh, this is my item template where we have a table tr and th and then uh, we have kept one placeholder and this placeholder I have specified item placeholder id equal to this item placeholder 1 and, uh, and then we have a specified item item template where we have just written the value of the data source fine this is very simple list view control if you have uh, watched my last video on list view you should be able to understand it very easily and now because we want to paginate the data of this particular list view control so we have used ASP data pager control this data pager control has been introduced uh, in ASP.NET 3.5 onwards and in this data page control what we need to do is that we need to use page con paged control ID initially paged control ID is nothing but the list view control because I want to paginate this list view control so that's why I have associated this data page control with the list view control using the paged control ID and I want to display five records in a single page so that's why I have written page size is equal to five and then in the fields we have used not next previous but the numeric pager field because I want to display page number one two three four numeric uh, pager so that's why I have written numeric pager field and I have written button count equal to five means I want to display from button uh, from page one to till five means I want to just display five page numbers not more than that so that's why I have written button count is equal to five now let me copy paste the code behind so here is the code behind let me copy paste and then I will explain them very uh, clearly here it goes looks like we are uh, done and uh, now let me rectify the problem that might have into this particular code okay yes and then here okay now let me explain this code first we have a page level variable called underscore con str and we are going to retrieve the database connection string from the web config file and saving into the underscore con str page level variable and if the page will be requested for the first time then each post back will be false and we are going to call populate data method in the populate data method we are using edu.net core to retrieve the data from the database and populate into the list view control in real time scenario you can use simply uh, business access layer or service layer method to uh, populate the data uh, to the list view control and then what we have here is that one very important method is this uh, let me just show you that here on page properties changing event of the list view control we have called the change page method and this is my change page, page change page method and this change page method what we have done is that we have written data pager one dot set page properties means because this uh, list view is attached with this data pager one so that's why i have written data pager one dot set page properties and e dot start row index what is e e is here page property changing event argument dot start row index as you can see here and then e dot max rows maximum rows and e dot maximum rows is nothing but the maximum uh, page size the 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 maximum number of rows that we want to display in per, per page so here is the five so five and uh, and then the third parameter is uh, basically data bind so data bind is if true then it will what it will do is that it will rebind the control after the properties are set otherwise it will not rebind so i have written do not rebind and then i am again uh, calling the uh, populate data method so that the list view will be uh, 
bounded again. Now let me uh, run this page and uh, show you how it is looking like. And you can see that in one page five record is coming when I am clicking on page number two then again uh, the sixth record is coming because I have only six record. Now let me change the page size to two here and then let us see what is happening. See now six record is there that's why three page number is coming page number two page number three.